since Easter was yesterday, we got some Easter themed stuff going on here. Mr. C here with an experiment you can do with your uh, kids at home. Got some peeps here. Yeah, sort of do it with kids at home because probably most people don't have this uh, contraption. Um, do you know what this is, by the way? Uh, no clue. No, All right, well, no clue. This it looks like a cake. Uh, like some sort of air dish. vacuum sealed something. It's a vacuum pump, yeah. So yes. we have a vacuum pump it and a vacuum. Like a cake dish. Pump right. a bell jar. Yeah, it looks like cake just like, oh, look what I made for you today, jewelry. <laughs> um, that was my Italian impression. But I also brought along some peeps for my peeps. And for the kids who are out there, <laughs> right, Earth Day is an amazing day. And we need to be conscious of about, about our planet. But most specifically, around us right now, and we're going to kind of talk about the Earth's atmosphere, right? Okay. So the Earth has uh, this blanket of gas called the atmosphere. And it's five different layers that stack up on the Earth, goes all the way up into space. And um, what do you think would happen if we actually were able to remove that atmosphere from objects? So inside of this balloon, I want you to think about that. What's inside of this? Helium. Air. air. Well. <laughs> helium. helium. If it was helium, it would float up. Right? So we have air. True. And okay. then inside of this stupid. bell jar, what's inside of here? There's air in there too, right? Yeah. You remember that last experiment I tortured you guys with? Absolutely. Yeah. There's air inside of everything, right? So we're going to take a moment. We're going to actually hit that switch right there, Zach. Mm -hmm. So we're sucking all the air out of that. Oh. So, this vacuum pump is vacuuming out the air inside of this bell jar, Ooh. and it's removing the atmosphere, all right, the air molecules. So it fills it up all the way. The balloon fills up because the air molecules in there, gases like to expand and fill up the space that they have allocated to them. Mm -hmm. And what I can do now is I can open this back up, and listen, if you listen carefully, you hear that rush of air? Oh, that was cool. That's actually air going back into our bell jar. Very and cool. it goes back to its original size. So I brought along some things that uh, were just some fun things. And you know, it's that time of year where the peeps are just out and about. Um, everybody's having, oh, they're gross. These are watermelon ones. I didn't realize they're going to be pink inside. Mm. That's cool, right? So they got some strange flavors now. So I'm going to put just a couple of peeps in there. And peeps have little pockets of air inside uh -huh. of them. That's why they're fluffy. Right. All right, so we're just going to turn this on and see what happens. Turn that, it? go ahead, right. hit that switch, Zach. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is fun. It's just now, like the microwave. I, it's like the balloon. Yeah, but you know what's interesting? They only get to a certain size oh, and then they yeah. kind of stop, right? Okay. And what we're going to do to turn that off, Zach, is because unlike... Whoa. Now, this is the cool part. Un, look at that. It's There's so like, tiny. I'm a little sad peep. Oh. The side of it kind of looks like an alligator now. It does. Like, oh, I'm going to eat that? your face off. <laughs> Science <laughs> is awesome. <laughs> So what's really cool about this is they got expanded a little bit, but then they kind of started to shrivel. Yeah, yeah. And we're going to do that again with this marshmallow because what's going on inside of these is a little bit different than what's going on uh, with the balloon. The balloon actually, I'm trying to get it so it stands up. There we go. The balloon actually expands and it doesn't rip. The little pockets of air inside of there expand and when they get to a certain point, they pop and then there's nothing else in there to expand. All, All right, right, go ahead and turn it on. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. Now watch That's it. It's expanding. Fun. It's expanding. Right? Pretty awesome. Yeah. And it's going to get to a point where those little air pockets can't do anything else. We're going to turn off Zach, let the air back in. Now look at these guys. They just shrivel back up. Tiny little marshmallows. And unlike the balloon, they don't go back to their original state. Yeah, and they feel different. Yeah, they're more dense, right? Because yeah. the air is no longer in there. Another so cool fluffy. thing we learned today, and if you want to learn more, you can always check out Mr. C at learningsciencesfun.com. Oh, we got to end on a bang here. Okay, let's do that real quick. We just got to know what, what happens here. Let's One, do two, it. Three. You can keep talking. That's good oh. stuff. Mm. Ooh, like science angry. is cool. <laughs> science is awesome, right? Science is cool and you're cool. Well, thank you. Thank you so Great much. We'll let that keep always. going. <laughs> Just let it go.